This is the panorama that everybody dreams of. Look at this. Wow. Spectacular. Yeah, this was a sad part of history, but we can't change it. We can only lear learn from it. Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm riding with my father again and yeah, he's behind, behind me and um, today we'll be riding to Austria once again for the second time. We'll be crossing two passes, uh, Wurzen Pass will be the first one and uh, Leubel Pass or Pass uh, Ljubel, if you say it in Slovenian. And yeah, we're gonna check out some historic sites, which are there along the way. Uh, yeah, looking forward to, to great roads, nice views. And um, yeah, as you can see, I also uh, finally got a new device, a new uh, phone, which is a cheap black view rugged phone it says it's also waterproof it was 150 euros so yeah so far really perfect everything smooth uh, because I was now I was back then using in the last few rides I was using uh, my, my mother's phone the white Samsung uh, but yeah she still uses it so from time to time so yeah I really needed to get something something for myself so yeah, I got this one, hopefully it will last. So far it's looking good. Downloaded some off off uh, offline Google Maps. So for now, this is all I need. Okay, as I said, looking forward. And yeah, let's see what, what the roads bring us today. So let's go. guys now we're in Jesenice industrial city it's the last the last major city before the Austrian border um, if you if you're using the the highway and the Caravanke Caravanke tunnel and yeah now we now we have around 30 minutes to go to the first pass to the top of the first pass Wurzen pass and yeah, so far pretty busy on the road, I must say. Many, many bikers, really. Every few minutes I see someone, so mostly in groups. And yeah, from other countries, Germany, Austria. But yeah, let's go. Another 30 minutes to go. This is the panorama that everybody dreams of. Look at this. Wow. Spectacular. Here somewhere left you can also go on the most famous Slovenian pass, Varšić pass. But but it's probably extremely packed at the moment so because it's still holiday. So I'll probably do that in September or something or next year we'll see for now it's really this is the most touristy area here in Slovenia Blit, Ljubljana I saw uh, a few kilometers probably long line 
for blitz to enter blitz so yeah it's it's really unreal okay now we're in the town Kranska Gora and we'll probably fill up a little bit for my father's bike we already did it 100 kilometers so yeah his bike needs to be filled up a bit ah, but it's pretty full yeah we need to go here because in Austria the prices are much higher so let's do this other bikers are here as well from Austria okay here we go Ooh. okay another 15 minutes here somewhere should the right onto the pass begin look at this amazing <laughs> I really need to, to look on the road more because it's too dangerous these views are too dangerous mobile home after mobile home really <laughs> so many tourists this is really I definitely understand them and we're going here right oh I don't think I ever I ever went on this road okay this is now the the main road to to the top to the border wow you can hear here you can stop check it out for yourself the views look at this spectacular Okay, we're gonna check out this yeah this is the the tank from the bunker museum let's wait for the cars you can then yeah we're gonna check it out why not this is one of the things I wanted to see to check out today it's called bunker museum Wurzen Pass if I remember correctly, wow, look at this how steep it is downhill right side, right safe, yes, that you can you can really say that out loud you really need to be careful okay, on the tank it's at one and a half kilometers and we should be at, at this place, so let's see wow, look at these, these roads a dream absolute dream it would be a little better without cars but <laughs> still it's just great to be riding this beast of a bike really so so happy with it I don't think I would be happy with any other bike because this was the, my ultimate dream bike and yeah it was just a must for me to get it okay here we are okay this is it now exit to the trenches The guy, the tour guide said that there weren't not that many trees before, so it was probably a lot more open. Look at these cans. Comparing to my hand, this is massive. Here we go inside. Wow. Wow. Absolute unit. Look at this. 
as big as my head. Wow, and here is a tank hidden inside. How did they get them here inside? Is this some kind of repair shop for, for the tanks? Maybe. They even have a boat here in inside inside of a little lake. had to take a nice thumbnail we went we went back to the motorcycle uh, to the tank <laughs> motorcycle I only have motorcycles in my head today so many of them unreal yeah but this this museum was really really nice it used to be a fortification uh, they built it I think in, eight, in 1968 so it has nothing to do with World War II or anything but it was more of a um, defense defense fortification so yeah, and they have many tanks, uh, cannons you can even ride it in a tank <laughs> my father <laughs> really wanted to ride so I filmed, him a, I filmed him a little bit and he also filmed with my GoPro so hopefully that looks nice and yeah, we also ate goulash there, so which was also very good army goulash. Really nice. So now we are riding through Austria to the second pass, which is the Leubel Pass or the Pass Lubel. And we will check the next historical site there. I really didn't have any expectation for here. I saw it on Google that there's a bunker museum here. And yeah, I didn't know anything else. But also the tank that my father rode in, uh, the guy, the, the tour guide said that it 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 drinks 150 liters per hun, uh, per 100 kilometers so whew, a lot but yeah it's a real <laughs> off-road machine it's 
can go anywhere you want it to go okay now let's ride through Austria and yeah see what expects us here hopefully no speed controls because I know that in Austria they have very many of them so let's go Okay guys, this is where the Loibel Pass begins and I mean really begins, look at this they're building something Loibel Pass Road oh no wow amazing another red light but okay, it's already green. Okay, what's this guy doing? They're having problems. Oh yes, oh I can I can um, I can smell I can smell that something's wrong with that car. Brand uh, poor. French guys but yeah now we're riding here for 15 minutes on these um, roads and then we'll stop by the next historic sites which I should probably tell you about now so there was during the Second World War there was, was of course many um, many concentration camps scattered around Europe and the main one was here uh, in Austria was Mauthausen and uh, Mauthausen had many many kind of under concentration camps small camps and one of them was the Loibel or the concentration camp Lubel which was a camp on both sides of the of the borders so on Austrian side was the north north uh, side and on the Slovenian side was the south and yeah they had 1800 prisoners there with uh, who which had to build which had to build the Karavanka tunnel they had to build a tunnel and uh, yeah 40 of them died because of tiredness or because of because they were executed and yeah, it's a sad part of the history but uh, yeah now the the curvy roads really begin <laughs> so it should be really careful now look at this this is really extreme I've been here a few times before with the car and yeah with the motorcycle it's something completely different <laughs> completely different experience uh, it's already how much 20 to 5 we've been on the road for I don't know five hours already something like that a bit more and we still need to to get back home
Oh, look at that. Whoa. Sun shining. Wow. And here should be the border somewhere. Yeah, here it is. Probably won't stop me. Or won't stop us. But where's my father now? They are stopping here. Look at this. On this side. They really are stopping. The Austrians are stopping people. <laughs> right, let, let's wait for my father and then we're pretty much there after this tunnel. The Leubel tunnel. Okay. Now, after this tunnel is our last destination. And here we go. We come back out and we are in Slovenia. Yoohoo! Okay, now let's check out this place. Look at the views here on our side. Just spectacular. Wow! Look at this. Oh, this is just... Just so much fun. Yeah, behind these trees is the is the the remains. Yeah, this was a sad part of history, but we can't change it, we can only lear learn from it, so also I forgot to mention that the Loibel Pass is, I think it's 1300 1, meters high, so it's just a, a little info. And yeah, that was pretty much it. We saw everything there was to see. And yeah, let's go safely towards home. guys we're pretty much home now so I'm gonna end the video here it was a nice enjoyable ride today very very beautiful roads uh, scenery views everything uh, interesting things to see of course so yeah that was it for this video if you enjoyed it give me a like if you want to see more similar videos subscribe to the channel and yeah thank you for watching see you next time bye